roads to victory, Blaney tames the monster, and Rowdy reigns at Dover. Hello everyone, I'm Kim Kuhn here in the Fan and Media Engagement Center. It's time for yet another episode of Rearview Mirror. The Truck Series drivers took their talents to the Sin City of Las Vegas for the second race of their playoffs. Ryan Truex led the field to green, but it was Ben Rhodes with a late race gamble, making a three-wide pass on Christopher Bell and Truex in the final restart to claim his first career victory in the NASCAR Camping World Truck Series. Afterwards, an emotional Rose was in disbelief celebrating the victory. This was just like uncontrollable screaming on the radio. I mean, I don't even know. This is the biggest high of my life. I this is, this is crazy. I just never thought it would come. While the truck series was on the West Coast, NASCAR's other two series hit the East Coast at Dover International Speedway. First up, the Xfinity Series drivers took their turn at taming the monster. But it was Cup Series driver Ryan Blaney stealing the show and claiming his sixth career Xfinity Series win in his 60th career Xfinity Series start. Winning is becoming a regular thing for Blaney, so he said, hey, who needs another checkered flag? And he gave the checkers away to a young fan in the grandstand. Aw, isn't that cute? Or maybe he's just trying to steal Kyle Larson's fans. We're on to you, Blaney. That fan might have a 42 on his hat. Might be a Kyle Larson fan. But I think he may have a new driver to cheer for because look who gave him the winning checkered flag. I've seen a lot of cool moves, Rick, but this one right here might be the coolest. Pick a fan out of the crowd and give them the, probably the best souvenir you can have. It was time for the stars and cars to take the track as the Cup Series closed out the weekend in Dover on Sunday with some serious playoff implications. With four drivers already locked into the round of 12, only eight positions were left for 12 drivers to battle their way into the next round. But next up, the memorable moment of the week. Here comes the 18 on the outside. Chase Elliott trying to hold on on the bottom. The momentum on the high side. Kyle Busch is going to pass it for the lead. It was points leader Truex leading the field to green in the Apache Warrior 400. Brad Keselowski captured stage one, followed by an impressive Kyle Larson blazing by the green and white checkers for stage two. Green flag pit stops put Chase Elliott out front, and it looked like winless Elliott would be winless no more. Chase was two laps away from his first career Cup Series win until he hit lap traffic. One of the drivers in Elliott's way happened to be Ryan Newman, who was racing for a playoff spot and trying to stay on the lead lap ahead of Elliott and a second place Kyle Busch. Instead of pulling to the high side and letting Elliott by, Newman raced hard, causing Elliott to lift off the gas, allowing a charging Kyle Busch to surge past Chase as the white flag flew. Busch captured his second consecutive win in the Monster Energy NASCAR Cup Series playoffs. Afterwards, an ecstatic rowdy commended the young Elliott on a hard-fought battle. I can't say enough about Chase. I mean, he's an awesome competitor and um, great kid, great friend. It's debatable on whether or not Newman held up Elliott or Bush or both or neither. We'll defer all questions to Jeff Gordon, who seemed to have an opinion on the matter. What was happening for the Eagles, man? You don't think I was racing for my own position? I didn't say you were. I said, just I watch just, what you say, man. I said thanks for the help. No, you, you said it was a smart man. Oh, I did. Yeah, you did. Oh, you took it that way. The playoffs were over in Dover for Ryan Newman, Austin Dillon, Kurt Busch, and Casey Kane. But tune in next week as we kick off round two of the playoffs at our very own Charlotte Motor Speedway.